Hosanna to our God. Let's thank Him. Let the praise of God be in our mouth right now. Worship Him and give them to Him. That honor, that praise to our God, to our King, to the Lord of Lords, to the ancients of days. Just so much appreciation. Thank you. This is the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let us rejoice and be glad. In it. Let's honor the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Let's honor the over God. Let's worship Him. Let's thank Him. Oh, thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him. Thank Him. Oh, thank Him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Worship Him. Worship Him. Worship Him. Exalt Him. Give glory to Him. Give honor to the Lord. Give adoration to Jesus. Let Him worship the Lord this morning. We are serving the living God. Thank Him for what the Lord is doing. And for what the Lord will do in your life, in your own family, let's give that praise to Him. Let's give that honor to Him. Let's give that glory to Him. Hosanna to God. Hosanna in the eyes to Him. Appreciate Him. Appreciate the Lord. Appreciate you over God. Appreciate the mighty God. I appreciate the King of Kings. I appreciate the Lord of Lords. I appreciate El Shaddai. Thank Him. Thank the Lord. Thank the over God. Worship Him. Give praise to Him. Thank Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, I worship you. Father, I praise your name. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Let us give that God the honor, glory. Let's worship the oh old God. Thank you, Lord, for a new life. Thank you, Lord, for a new life. Thank you, Jesus, for a new life. Let's worship Him. Let's give that honor to Him. Glory to the Lord. Praise to the King. Honor to his name, worship and exalt him. We thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we adore you. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we honor your name. Lord, we worship your name. Lord, praise you for what you have done and for what you will do in our life our family, and the life of our God. Somebody give that wish. I worship you. I honor you. I praise you. And you. Give that honor to him. Give that wish to the king. That honor to the Lord. To the old God. Mighty God, we thank you. To the one that is worthy, we thank you. Enter his name to Christ given. Is God with praise. I want us to do that. Let's enter the gate of Him with thanksgiving. Is God with praise. Let's celebrate Him for what done and for what He will do. Jesus, let's to Him. Let's give that praise to Him. Let's give that honor to the Lord that you over God will thank you for what you have done for us. I appreciate him right now. Honor the King. Honor Jehovah God for what he has done for us. I appreciate him. Give that praise to him. 
give that honor to him, give that worship to him. Jehovah God, we thank you. Everlasting Father, we honor you. Jehovah God, we praise you for what you have done for us, for what you will do. I appreciate the Lord. My Lord and my God, I thank you. My Lord and my King, I thank you. My Lord and my Jehovah God, I thank you. Just thank them, give that honor to them. Jehovah God, you are great. Jehovah God, you are good. Jehovah God, you are kind. Jehovah God, you are wonderful. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. We give praise to you, Lord. We honor to bless your name, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Emmanuel. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, our Lord will pray. I want us to thank God once again that for what he has done in our life. I want us to thank him. Let's assure the Lord. Let's say to Jehovah, my Father, I thank you. My Lord and my God, I worship you. I want us to thank him. Say, Daddy, you are great. There is no one like you. You are wonderful. There is no one beside him for the journey of your life. Thank him of your own. Thank him for the journey of your children. Thank him for the journey. Lord, thank you. Lord, we honor you. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you, Lord, for your love that you have shown to me. Somebody give that praise to him. Lord, I thank you, Lord, I honor you. Jehovah Shama, you are great. Jehovah Nisi, you are kind. Jehovah Nisi, you are wonderful. Somebody give that praise to the king. Somebody give that praise to the Lord. Give that praise to the king of kings and the Lord of lords. To the El Shaddai, the God Almighty. We honor your name. We honor your name. We honor your name. Jehovah God, we thank you. Jehovah Shammah, we worship you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Jesus, we thank you. We thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. You are the mighty God. I great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God. I great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty
Oh, I see you, yeah. Thank you. 
worship and give praise, exalt him. Lord, you are worthy of my praise. Lord, you are worthy of honor. Lord, you are worthy of glory. Somebody thank him, lift a voice in praise to the king, in honor to the over God's word. It is when the God you are worthy in Tarasa Lord, Matu Prelimaterio, Marampa Turi Mashantium, open your heart to God. Lord, you are worthy in Catala Basantu Ribasantilevo, Manuku Rapatili Mazatilevo, open your heart to God. The Lord God worthy, Mezuko to Brandasa Televo, lift a voice to end, Meneka Rabazuko to Lemezevo. Open your heart to God, the Lord God, you are worthy. Somebody pray, lift a voice to Him. Jehovah God, you are worthy. Lift a voice to Him. Jehovah God, you are worthy. You are worthy of my praise. You are worthy of glory. You are worthy of honor. You are worthy of adoration. Somebody deeper is there. Lift a voice and say, Lord, you are worthy of my praise. You are worthy of our glory. You are worthy of adoration. That shall be the name of God. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Give that honor to him. Give that glory to him. Give that praise to him. Give that honor to him. Give that adoration to Jehovah God. I thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Our Lord, we pray, begin to dip yourself. In the blood of the Lamb, the Lord God of heaven to forgive every sin that may be, every sin that might hold us back, that might delay us. Somebody begin to ask the Lord, the Lord God of heaven to forgive. But we say, all unrighteousness is a sin. We want us to agree and confess and forsake sin. Let's agree with God that that is a sin. I have sinned against you. <coughs> I have sinned against your word. I am sinned against you. Somebody pray that you have sinned against Jehovah God. Open your heart to God. My Father, I have sinned against you. I have sinned against your word. I agree this morning. I have sinned against you. Somebody pray that prayer. Open your heart to God. Lift your voice and talk to Him that you have sinned against Him. That you have sinned against His word. In the name of Jesus. The Lord of heaven forgive that sin and wash me from that iniquity and wash me from all my trespasses, from all my transgression. In Jesus' name, we pray, pray for a new heart, a new spirit. Pray for Holy Spirit, Lord. Hallelujah. Do you know Holy Spirit of God is the Spirit of Jesus? Also the same thing. We do through Jesus told us to pray through Him to the Father. You know, Holy Spirit also can do the same thing. It's like the Spirit of Jesus. You know, it's another comforter. Jesus, when Jesus was on earth, they can touch him, they can tell the disciple. You know, the disciple need the Holy Spirit. Jesus to be there for them. Jesus was so available to, his disciples, to all his disciples. Remember, the disciple of Jesus Christ is not only to the many disciples of Jesus Christ, but the main, the main inner cause. Hallelujah is to have inner and also 70. Hallelujah. So even though the baby was there, the baby was of Jesus Christ, the mother himself. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So the disciple of Jesus Christ, so Jesus can be able to meet their need. Remember at one point in time, Peter and Jesus Christ was working and the money was needed. Money was needed. I will say, what is this? Jesus, what is this? Is it this? Was, was it something they drawed? Is it the sea? Is it give what to Caesar to Caesar? So whatever the government required of you, you must do it. You don't go against the law. Give what to Caesar to Caesar. See, Caesar is the government, the rules. And give what to the law to the Lord. You don't mix both. You give what to God to God. And also you honor the God authority. Hallelujah. So Jesus is able, even though when the storm want to throw them off, you will be see, 
Jesus was available. So he was physically meeting their need. When they are hungry, he saw blood. Now Jesus said, I'm going to go to the Father. But I also, there will be someone like me. Hallelujah. I will send somebody that also do the same thing that I'm doing for you. Oh, he will teach you. Continue. He's not going to say a new thing to you. What you have been taught, what I've told you, that is going to remind you. That's an comforter. Do it. We see the disciple is all in us. So the presence of the Christ is in you. Through the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And when you have that spirit, you're able to do great things. When you have that spirit, you feel the power of the Lord. Lift your voice and pray. Holy Spirit of God is a representative like Jesus. When Jesus Christ was in the physical. Hallelujah. When Jesus Christ is in, when Jesus Christ is delivered, people, hallelujah, saving life, doing great things in the life of Mary. The same thing, all the Holy Spirit is representative. He represents the Spirit Jesus himself, physical in your life. Hallelujah. And the also real. You know, that's another thing. The Holy Spirit is real. It's real. Holy Spirit is real. You probably don't see it, but it's real. He has feeling. He can hear. Hallelujah. It's the true Spirit of God. When he enters Jesus, quite like a dove, he speaks. Hallelujah. If anyone says, I'm hearing God today, you are hearing Holy Spirit. And very tiny, gentle spirit. You know, when you obey, you give him one chance, he takes over your heart, take over your life. Now pray for that spirit to enter into you. Pray for that spirit to enter. He knows everything. Hallelujah. He knows everything. Oh, he knows everything. He knows he can speak at the same time to the heart of people. I told you a story before. Let me tell you the story now. I was in a place that Holy Spirit can speak. A place many years ago. I said it. I was said it again. Because when I think that happened, that's so unique. It stays with you. You know, that's what that your is takes here. Because the same thing, you never experienced that with a meeting. I've said it those that be here for a long time. Say, Pastor, you want to say it again? Let me say it again and listen. Hallelujah. We are in a meeting. I'm a young, very man. I mean, I'm still young. You know, that's, you know, you know so very young, very, you know, I mean, I don't know, I mean, I just finished high school, you know, just high school. So we're in a meeting with my mom and my uncle was there. Maybe midnight. We are just praying. But beautiful lady in front of me, he said, Pastor, you want to see it? Let me see it. Listen. Hallelujah. So that's how I know that Holy Spirit speaks. He speaks with me. All those things. When you have us, ah, yeah, this, I've seen this, I've seen that. Hallelujah. So the lady, the lady was there. Very beautiful lady. So I was looking at that lady. You know, instead of me praying, I was looking at the lady. And I was saying in my heart, I like this lady. Hallelujah. I was saying, I like her. You know, for you to close your eyes and pray. But you are looking at a lady. I say, I like her. And I hear it. I said anything. I hear it clearly. I said, no, you know, I was shocked. What's this? I said, no problem. Also, you will take the problem. That's what he told me. He said, no problem. Are you going to take the problem of the lady? No problem. He said, I was so afraid. I was so afraid. I said, yeah, problem. Because I never hear it. I'm a young person. Looking at a lady when I was praised. I like her. He said, no problem. And you're going to take the problem of her life. Eh? So afraid. And later I hear again, go and pray for her. I said, never in my life. Because I hear that so I was so afraid to go and pray for the lady. I was so afraid to go and pray because I hear that I'm going to take the problem of that lady. So I, and I will just relax. Say, never in this place. Along with the year. So, later on, my uncle that was there. That was the Holy Spirit. It's a unique spirit. And my uncle that was there, I was struggling in my spirit, said, go and pray for the lady. And what, what happened? You know, very beautiful lady, but I think she wants to have a mental issue. So, but I don't know. But she walked in the short tank, was sitting down praying in Jesus' name, but God is looking. Oh, God bless you. Praise the Lord. And uh, my, my uncle, who was the pastor there, and came to me, go and pray. Pray for her. Hallelujah. I can see that's the beginning of the ministry. I guess that was since then. I never, I just, and I was there, I was so afraid, you know, and I tried to leave, and I said, you have no choice, they have put you off. You want 
they have put they have put me out there in front of everybody. Say, go and pray, pray for her. So it was there. So now he my in Jesus, the Holy Spirit, come down. Because I was afraid because I know what's bad. And right away, I never felt that there's such a thing in my life. I never like a mighty wing. Like a mighty wing. And we hear it. And I hear it, Jesus. Then. Even my mom that was she was afraid. What's happened? What happened? Hallelujah. That's why the presence of the Holy Spirit can be, you can feel it. Because the Holy you can feel it. You can feel it. I had never experienced such a thing in my life. Like a mighty wing. And the lady, she was here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So I want you to have that to dwell in you. Remember, he thought a God, a bad thought, but God knows my thought. God is a simple God and loving God. Two, I having a bad thought, having that thought, but God knows what you want to do in life. The plans of God will surely come to pass. The plans of God will surely come to pass. The plan of God in your life will surely come to pass. Ask for the presence of Holy Spirit to fill your heart. Ask for the presence of Him. He said, I'm going to send another comforter to you to lead you, to guide you, to direct you. Lift up your fast. In the name of Jesus, let the Spirit of God ask me to break every shackle, to break every shackle, to break every shackle, to break every shackle upon your heart to pray. My to pray the soul to pray the home. Lift a voice to pray. Holy Spirit of God, fill me afresh. Oh Spirit of God, fill me, take over me, take hold of my tongue, take hold of my hand, take hold of my body. In the name of Jesus, open your heart to pray. Mate Katoria in Jesus' name we pray. Oh, what do I say? Say devil live. Devil can never listen to you. Who are you? Say devil in alone. You can only say that to the Spirit of God in you. I want you to know that. Know that quickly. You can say, devil, oh, leave me alone. Who is that person? Remember, the son of Siva say, be here, he said, who are you? He replied them, who are you? Who are you? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In which we do pray, sometimes I hear back the spirit of something else. Shut up. You know, you know nothing going behind the scene. Your actions, you don't know. Praise the Lord. You can only say that to the Spirit, to the Spirit of God in you, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. No, in Jesus' name, with the Holy Spirit, let me tell you. In Jesus' name, with truly the name of Jesus has power, but the dynamo of the fire must be in you. Is that the what you call Jesus, the power? But the power of the Holy Spirit in you, is it available for everybody? Yes. Am I going to get it? Just open your heart and ask for it. Nobody has to teach you how to get it. No? Nobody has to. And I believe, I'm yeah, telling you, nobody has to teach you how to get the Holy Spirit. So, this is to get the Holy Spirit. Mm -mm. You, you, the man struggle. Your spiritual journey will struggle without it. God no, God himself knows that. Only just let your heart be open and you need it. Do you know ever since that day, I never... It's ever since I just know something is just going on with me, even though I don't understand, I don't need to eat, you know, you know, I don't need to eat. But since that very day, the, the story I've shared with you, I just know that it's all, even though I need to eat, but I just know something else, you know, praise the Lord. And that's what I said, that's what it led to this. Since that very moment, that very day, I just know, I can you need to listen, see things I don't see before, I begin to see, ah. I saw you, my friend, coming. I saw you in my dream that you are coming and you are coming in the morning. And since that day, the first I saw my friend coming. And I don't dream before. I don't dream. I don't usually dream. You know. But that day I just saw like wow, if somebody is coming to my house, because I saw you coming this morning. And ever since then, he never leave. But one thing, when you begin to give him chance, he do more in your life. The only problem we don't do is give him chance. What he said to stand up. When you obey that voice, he says more to you. The more you give him chance, the more he takes the room in your life. That's the only problem about it. That's the only problem. The more you give God as you're praying, singing, 
praising God, doing great, living life, holy life, running away from sin, moving close to God, you move closer to you. But when you are getting away from your soul, hold back. Many of you don't think that you don't have a Holy Spirit. The Spirit is there. Oh, men still have left me. No. He said, I will never leave you, nor forsake you. Is there? You can be silent. I know that by experience. I'm talking by experience. That you can be silent. Since that day, I know something is just there. I just know something has happened. I know that something has happened to me. Even though, ma'am, I don't know. Ask, what happened? What time you are praying for that lady? What? I said, I myself, I don't know. I don't know. Because she was afraid. Hallelujah. Ah, Sam was afraid. What happened? What happened to you when you are praying for the lady? I said, I don't know. I don't know. Hallelujah. But since then, he never leaves. When I give him a chance, he comes more. But when I throw myself, he's silent. Even he give warning. Lift up and pray for the Spirit of God. Spirit of the living God. Enter into me. Fill my heart as on today. In the name of Jesus. Open your heart to God. You need it to have between. I say you cannot just say devil to me. You cannot just say failure depart from me. And listen to you. Except to the Spirit of God. Rejoice and pray. So your prayer this hour be answered. Open your heart to God. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name, our Lord will pray. Now, tell the Lord, as I pray, I saw like a goat with on, but this was already cut off. Praise the Lord. Roasted. Even though it was but with it on, a goat head. Hallelujah. A goat head. Roasted. And I don't believe somebody is going to go to roasted born. But the only is the day. Born in the cut off. But roasted. Tell them all what that's before me. That he cleared the way for me. Tell them to clear the way. Somebody pray that Lord God of heaven to clear the way. Lift your voice and say, Father, clear the way. Whatever that for me. Holy Spirit of God, clear that way today. Whatever thing it got to every before me. Clear the way. Open your heart to pray. Clear the way in the name of Jesus. I am a sign of Holy Spirit. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. You know, I was praying myself, I don't understand it. I myself, I don't understand it. Sometimes you still say you don't. But I was praying. I was hearing that voice. See, I've given you victory. Somebody, you have received your victory. Your head of your enemy have been cut down in the name of Jesus. Your victory begins in the name of Jesus. Your victory, you have triumphed over the battle. You have triumphed over that spirit of delay. Say that, Amen. The arm of enemy has been removed, have been cut off. You are the three when 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 uh, David defeated Goliath, he cut off his head and he lift his head up. Hallelujah! He lift his, even though he made his head like a souvenir of God's victory. Today you have victory over your enemies. Today. Your battle is over. That spirit that delay your dream is over. Begin to experience joy. Begin to experience fulfillment. In the name of Jesus. Begin to experience the blessing. Begin to experience the glory. In the name of Jesus. Begin to experience the favor of the Lord. Begin to experience the glory. In the name of Jesus. Let the hand of the Lord be upon you. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. Say, Lord, in this prayer, oh God, you will help me. Can you lift your voice in this prayer? You will help me. That's our, that's our standing word in this prayer. You need help. This is a new year. A, let me tell you, there's 11 months ahead of us. The journey of February, the journey of March, April. And you need, you need God's help throughout. 
Even though you have believed that many people that you are trying for your birthday, you want it to happen. That you are praying for before my birthday. That you do this for me. That you do this for me before my birthday. That the Lord of heaven will act into your voice. Lift your voice and say, Father, you will help me. All my dreams, all my vision in this very year. You will bring it to pass. Open your heart to pray him. Set the kosher tayaba. Man do ya dada bakataya. All my dream, all vision in this prayer. Somebody praying. The Lord will bring it to pass. The Lord Jehovah God will bring it to pass. In the name of Jesus. My father will bring my dream. Somebody pray. The Lord will bring all your dreams, all your vision to pass in this year. I came forward. Somebody pray. I'm breaking forward. Lati kutada. I'm breaking forward. Do kuprende kebon. Breaking forward. Leke tuli masalebon. I'm breaking forward. Man sutu kublende kebon. I'm breaking forward. Leke sume setelebon. I'm breaking forward. Man to kublende kebon. I'm breaking forward. All my dream this year. All my vision. Actually come to pass. Somebody lift a voice in the name of Jesus. That dream that your vision this year. In the name of Jesus. That surely come to pass. My father. In the name of Jesus. You will bring it to power. Somebody pray. You bring it to power. Somebody pray. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name. You pray. Say Lord the strong man in my life. That deny, deny the help for me. I told us God want to help you. Why God want to help you? Tell me. Let, tell me why God don't want to help me. When you believe in Him, when you trust in Him, when you hope in Him, then we want to make God a liar. That's the mission of the we want to see that's on the beginning. I want to see God as a liar, as a God, a deceiver, that God don't want us to know better. Is that not the way he presents to, to Adam and Eve? What well, do you know that you should not eat this? God knows the day you eat this thing, your eyes will open, you will be like God. Is that not? I mean, Satan presents to them like God is hiding something from them. God never said the truth, the truth, the real truth to you. And truly, truly, but they can't undo it. That's the problem. They can't undo the tree. That what to know good. And bad. It's a God that can only know good and remain and bad and remain good. It's only God that can only know good and bad and also remain good. And I will not do evil. Satan himself wants to be like him. Man, pride enter. Pride and God send it away. When good Man also want to be like hundred people. They are already like God. God has made them in the image of Him, but I lie to them. I mean, it's beyond that. It's beyond this. God is hiding something for you. You want you know since day you eat this thing, you will be like Him, and then because truly they no good and bad. That's to mount theology way. I say, that's how good and evil follow. That's why Job said, you cannot ever receive good, not to receive bad. And since that day, they have opened to other things, where good and bad be and when. Where you, so you experience good, because it's only God have the capacity to know, because God can know what is bad and know what is good, and also remain only God. Hallelujah. Jesus says the son of this world came to me. He find nothing in me. Bible told he was tested in any form, but without no sin. He went through everything. Jesus was tested. When he was on Calvary, every sin was put on him. Adultery was put on Jesus. Fear was put on him. Lie was put on everything. Every sin you can mention was put on Jesus. That's why he knew your sin because he experienced it on the cross of Calvary, everything that with him, he has no sin. But when sin was put on him, the father cannot look at him. The father looked at the face, looked away from him. That's why he cried, Lord, why thou forsaken me? Because he can, God cannot behold the sin 
of you my lie my adultery my fornication my stealing my killing my whatever thing that you want to mention whatever thing that it was put on jesus he experienced it on the cross of Calvary. So when you're talking, he knows your infirmity. He knows everything. He was there in that position. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, let every go liar, every power. So devil want to deceive us, want to lie to us, want to make God a liar in your life. Say, God is not going to give you that breakthrough. God is not going to give you that husband. God is not going to give you that success. Every power to make you a liar in my life. Every power, every generation, every covenant that want to make you a liar as we're acting, denying your blessing. The day of God's glory, open your heart to pray. My God, oh, that power be defeated today. Every power that to make God a liar in my life. Every spirit that want to make God a liar in my home. Every power I want to make God a liar in my life. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus. We pray. Say, Daddy, it has surely come to pass. Without no doubt in my heart that I will lift up. I will be promoted. In the name, it shall surely begin to decree. It shall surely come to pass. I will carry my own choice here. Is that what you are trusting God? Is that a sacapatoli matter? It shall surely come to pass. You will give me my own family. Is that what you are trusting God? It shall surely come to pass. You will establish me in this land. You will grant my business. You will move my business forward. It shall surely come to pass. I will live to declare the goodness of God. It shall surely come to pass. I will overtake all what that is mine shall surely come to me. It shall surely come to pass. He capatoli me send the level seven. My own send the level coperia. Mato brand the seven. Mato brand the catelevo. Mato press the catelevo. Mato co brand the televo. Catatoli me go shan televo. Mato brand the televo. It shall surely come to pass. It shall surely come to pass that your life will sing a new song. Say that, amen. It shall surely come to pass that the dream of your children will fulfill. It shall surely come to pass in this prayer that your request will be answered. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. Please keep the oil before you anoint yourself. For today's time, for I'm using the scripture for the oil. Hallelujah. Psalm 4, verse 1. Hallelujah. Psalm 4, verse 1. I want you to get that oil. Lift it up before God. I want you to get it to pray. As your exercise of faith through this, miracle will follow. I say God will use what's in your hand. Isn't the magician? Yes, God will use what's in hand. That be- Jesus did not perform a magic in that wedding. He said, fresh the water. That's what they have. He said, what they have. They don't have money, okay? But they can fresh water, okay? Let them go and fresh water. Eh? And the man I hear that, oh, they say you go and fresh water. He said, whatever he tells you to do, you better do it. Because that's where miracle lies. What God is telling you to do, please do it. That's where your miracle lies. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. What God is telling you. So that's why you you struggle with it. Sometimes, oh my God, I don't want to do it. That's where your miracle lies. Hallelujah. Get that boy. Lift it up. Psalm 4, verse 1. Hear me when I call over of my righteousness. For that has enlarged me when I was in distress. God will enlarge you. He said, Thou has enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy of me and hear my prayer. Open your heart to pray. Say, Daddy, Daddy, bless this oil when I call in the Jesus, God of our righteousness. Answer me, nudge me, as I exercise my faith to this oil, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. Somebody pray. Open your heart to God. La parusu toli makatea. Budoli makusu toli mekete. Somebody pray as you exercise your faith through that oil as you anoint yourself, anoint your business in the name of Jesus. May your life come out of distress. May God enlarge you. May your life come out of distress. May God enlarge you. 
Bedouri matiki le bon. Bato kurende le bon. Menzu katili masa. Waili makute keli bosondu le bon. Matu kutuli magata. Open your heart to pray him. In this place, have mercy upon me. Hear my prayer. Somebody pray as you exercise your faith. In Jesus' name, <coughs> our Lord will pray. I hope somebody will type it again. And that's your prayer upon that oil. As I pray upon the oil today, you know, I say every day you're going to use the scripture to pray upon that oil. And that is the scripture. Psalm 4, verse 1, and also verse 8. Good scripture wants to leave that oil. You will decree upon it. Let's say the word of God is sharper than two edges sword. The word of God, Bible says, he sent his word. And the word, when God wants to do it in your life, he will release the word. When any also want to do something, Satan has learned from God a lot. He used the principle of God in native ways. He used the principle of God. In, he knew when Satan wants to do anything in your life, I'm telling you, he will use a word. Even though, uh, and I told you, I was watching, you know, one papa, you know, Want to, a native doctor was, you see, I don't know whether he's a native doctor, but I don't know, you're just there, all you people that believe in such, oh, oh, Papa, give me your number, Papa, all kind of stuff, the man was preparing, the man was preparing, I don't know whether you have seen that thing, and the, the video is there, sometimes all those junk just run to me, I don't know whether, you know, so, so what's this, so I, sometimes I pay attention, and I will listen, I will look at it very well, what's the man trying to do, and they prepare everything, and you have prepared the fish, you have prepared all those stuff, you are using now you have been to eat all these things. That's all it's stone stuff, you know. I myself, I, I I believe in Jesus. That is stone stuff to them that believe in them. But I just have look on to Jesus. Jesus is more. Hallelujah. Yes. So after you have prepared all this one, the after you have prepared all this one, you pour this one, you cook it, you use this one, you use it. Okay, now if you want to eat the food now, you to see it, you want the word. You're going to scan, you're going to chant. You need to chant. You cannot just eat without chanting. So, power of the word. After all the cooking, after all, slice the thing, put this thing, use this thing there. You chant, you chant, you chant it. You see what? I'm so, 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 I'm so, 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 I'm so, 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 so. If somebody wants to destroy life, they chant too. Power of words. Hallelujah. That's why. When you pray, you release the word. Not to go and use something. Without the word in it is a joke. When God created the heaven and earth, the word, you release the word. Let that be light and there was light. I want you to open your heart and pray. When I call, I call. Lord, as I exercise my faith to this boy, power will follow. Dear me, when I call, when I call, remember, when I apply this oil, when you apply your faith, when you lift up, let go, yeah. Maya toto di ma opa rusa tele bakata. Bendo ya dawa batondo li mesebile. Ye koto di ma kura batinde li koshani ya. Open your heart to bring. Le tiki na batu tele bom. To prendo si kele bom. To prendo si kele bom. Ma to prende si kele bom. Ma to prende si kele bom. Ma to prende te kele bom. Ma to prende si kele bom. When I exercise my head to this, oh God, in the name of Jesus, thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name, our Lord, when I exercise my faith here, you know, God is a living God. She was so worried. And uh, I don't want to mention that kind of sickness, but that sickness is so bad. If I mention the sickness, everybody, wow, 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 wow. Hey, this sickness in the life of this person. So I one day looking at it. You know, she was, you know, and uh, I said, Holy Spirit speaks. Sometimes I do hear a little bit too. Sometimes I hear a little bit. I hear a little bit too. Sometimes. Sometimes, you know, I hear a little. You know? Uh, and the Lord, I was just still looking at the. You know, maybe after the discussion, I was done. It was pouring her mind that she needs healing. I need this thing to go. Because it's very obvious, you know. She, you know. And I hear the word, just like I said, don't worry. I'm going to heal her. Okay. So what is it? Because you see, the that sickness is is only have yet God have is a very you know and I said, Lord, listen. See God says very well and I went back to her. So he said, He's going to heal you. Now after many 
after many months, maybe about a few, and it came back to me. They can't find it in my body anymore. As you say, they can't find it in my body anymore. It was there before, but the healing of God, they can't find that sickness because God of heaven will thank you, my father. Somebody, God of heaven is going to heal you. You are to move and to receive it. Say that, amen. In the name of Jesus, whatever thing that been troubling you will depart. God will show his grace and his favor in your life. In the name of Jesus, you will totally be healed. In the name of Jesus, you will totally be healed. Totally, 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 totally. And the exercise of it, do this. I will be here. Say it. I will be here. Remember the word God saying, O Lord, I shall be here. Save me, O Lord. I shall be saved. I shall exercise of faith. You are here. 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 Oh, my son of God. You are here. In the name of Jesus. You are here. You are delivered. You are saved. You are here. The battle is over. The battle is over. La Peru side of the You are here. Thank Father. In Jesus' name. The, the Lord removed the hand of the enemy from you. The Lord begin to fight your battle. In verse 8, it says, I will lay down in peace and sleep. For thou only maketh me to dwell in safety. You know, some people they can't go to bed when the night. I see somebody that told me when I show up is in trouble at night. That's the way the trouble lies. The person cannot sleep at midnight. That's the way the trouble. If you can't sleep, listen. If you can't sleep, I don't know how true. I don't, I don't know how the true people you know out there. So I listen to a documentary to see. A, I don't know. You know they want to experience, experiment. You know, person cannot sleep, and this person cannot sleep. You no, know, one thing. So this is, I don't know whether the the, the documentary is true. They ran mad. They go. They went crazy. Even to the point, it flesh turned to something. They vowed because they cannot sleep because they gave them something to see. They gave them blood. So God, sleep. You sleep. You refresh yourself. When somebody cannot sleep, it's a trouble. Today, if you are going through that thing today. The battle will cease in Jesus. Say that in a, you better say that amen louder. If you are going to any battle today, that at midnight you can't sleep. You are going to the enemy want to destroy you. If somebody cannot sleep, ah, if you, that's why you thank God every day. That's why you thank God every day. But you can even go to sleep and just go there. <clears throat> into it. You are gone. You are sleeping. And you wake up again. And say God and like, you know what happened? Do you know what happened to my conductor? He cannot sleep. That's why he asked the doctor to inject him just to know, you know to knock him out. And he went wrong. Praise the Lord. That's what happened to him. He cannot sleep. With the money, he cannot sleep. The Bible told me. I lie down in peace and sleep. For thou hast only make me dwell in safety. You go to bed and just be gone. Little boys, as I anoint myself, my father, you will give me sleep. You will give me rest. You will give me some sleep. Somebody pray that prayer. As I anoint myself with this oil, oh God, you will give me some sleep in the name of Jesus. You will give me some sleep. Open your heart to pray. As you anoint yourself with this oil, Anytime you exercise your faith to any member of your family, you will give them sound sleep. Somebody pray because that dwell with me in safety. Because thou have dwell with me in safety. For thou art dwell with me in the name of Jesus. I pray for somebody who only struggle in your sleep, in your dream, in your Moshe told you about some people are afraid just to close their eyes before they sleep because they begin to see something else. They begin to see bad dream. Bad dream. Oh, oh bad dream. He can bad dream. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, our Lord will pray. Say, in Jesus' name, our Lord will pray. Say that. Amen. 
In Jesus' name, our Lord, you get that your request before the Lord. Say, Lord, this is my prayer this year. I want to be saying, Lord, this is my request. Before you answer me, pray and get that your request. You have, that's you must, what I'm saying you should do this so you can have a focus. Hello? What I say you should write it down. So also you can be able to go back to it again and see what the Lord has done for you. Hallelujah. So you can have a focus. Write it down. I took my list before. Ah, God has answered this. God has answered this. God has answered this. Because he answered his prayer. Hallelujah. Because God answered his prayer. God answered his prayer. All what I have today is what God has given to me. Everything I receive it through prayer. Everything of my life that I can say, even though things that say were impossible, I receive it through prayer. Everything, and please, everything in my life, are there. And just mention it. I've learned to ask God since I was young. Go before the Lord. Go before. The Lord. That's what I was taught. I've been taught. Hallelujah. That's what I know. I told you, I, I told you, I live in the, I grew up in the church. That's only matter you are born again, doesn't matter. <laughs> you go in church, born again, your pa- that is a pastor, doesn't matter. My friend is not a pastor, but no. But growing up, don't mean that you have, uh, but you no, know, understanding, let me just use that word. I have no understanding. Since my youth, even since I was in primary school, I could remember one time, I was, I was watching it now, you know, I was, you know, in my spirit, I was just crying to Hallelujah. The Lord is just, I want you to touch my life. Oh, no, 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 I, no, I want to be, no, I want to be a kid, no, just to elevate me. I was just you know, in, my, in my class, you know, saying, Lord, you must give me this wisdom. And I was trusting God, believing God for that hand. Hallelujah. So anything that I've received, oh God, for your wife, wife, is still prayer. You know, you still prayer. You know, yes, you know, sometimes when I think God say, so I say this person you're going to marry, it happens sometimes. You know, ah, you know, look at the person, it happens. So everything, say he's going to marry, look at this, that's your wife. Say, yeah, this, yes, hallelujah. So I know it will speak to you. You know certain things. I say, mm. So everything that I've received is through him. Say, Lord, give me this, and he gives to you. That's why there's nothing I've asked the Lord that has not given to me. If people don't do it, they want it. That's the problem. People don't do the time. Say, why you can do it? But at the end, he only shut up my mouth. Say, now what else? What do you want to say? But I want you to do it in a big way. Do it like this. Do it like that. Just of recent. You know, I was, I need help of God. And I was telling him, ah, you never show up the way like that. Why you have to do this before you do that? Why you have to? And they know that they show up in that way that I want. Okay, don't worry. That's what you want to wait. So I'm going to show you now. Hallelujah. Leave that your request before the Lord. I say, Father, I'm sight. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I cry to you over this. Listen to my cry. Remember the scripture. The Lord will help me. Lord will deliver me from the wicked one that is denying me this prayer. The Lord will help me. Lord will deliver me from the one that say no to this request. Lord will deliver me. Father, answer your children. Let it go and reply. Let everyone reply. As God ever reply. No delay. No hindrances. No delay. No hindrances. No delay. I the kind Messiah. No delay. Let me kill on who are Hallelujah. Yes. Let the hands be upon you. May the hand of the Lord be upon you. May you experience joy. I'm 59. May you experience joy. I'm 59 in your life. May you receive the blessing of the Lord. May you receive the blessing of the Lord. Say that, amen. May everyone also receive the blessing of the Lord over every request. May God of heaven surprise you. May everyone, may God of heaven surprise you. May Jehovah God give that your joy that will come quickly. Say that, Amen. May God do well give every one of us that joy will come quickly. And let the name of Jehovah God be glorified. Thank you, righteous one. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. Get everything that you have for you to be looking good and smell good. 
Get it? Say, Lord, the Spirit of God enter into this for me. As I exercise my faith. No, one thing I know, I'm sharing the grace now. If the people of the world can give you certain things, go and use it. And it's work for them. Some people, their life of people have been destroyed because what they are giving to them to go and use to others have destroyed life of them. I told you, a young man that I know very well, so there's somebody they give something to go and eat the young man. That the, the sickness enter into that young man. And the dying one man is not himself anymore. Because somebody gave him something. Go and beat him with this. Hallelujah. That's it. So if people of the world can do it, much more of our God. I say, Lord, minister life to this. And talk to them. As of today, your life begins to smell good. In the name of in the name of remember Hosea chapter six, six Hosea chapter four, verse six. As you exercise your faith, say God is going to make you like olive tree that is going to bring your fragrance. Let evil depart from you. Let it go into your body. That thing is blessed. Death will run away from you. The sickness will run away from you. Your life begins to smell good. Every evil odor in your life, every evil odor in your life, every evil odor. In your business, every order, in your journey, let God remove it. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. Amen. Amen. After next week, I want you to bring whatever God. Next week, we're going to walk on, except, I don't know, but Holy Spirit, but now the one I have known now is whether you are believing God for to establish your address, your passport. You want to travel, you know, your passport. You want to your business, any document and property, you know. I say, Pastor, what do you need that for? <laughs> that you want to establish, you want to build a house, any budget. Because you can just make it. And they will begin to lift it up before God by from next week. God is our life to this. Minister life to this. And you will see God will establish you. Whatever thing that you just want God to work on for you. Whether you want to start something, I, whatever thing from next week, begin to lift it up before God. Things and the hand of the Lord will be upon it. Go in that blessing that one is over. Go in the grace of the Lord Jesus and let your life return with the great testimony. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. Amen. Just put in mind that the prayer continue by 3, 3 p.m. And also a quick one by 5. The quick one by 5. Um, and probably next week, you know, you probably have some, you know, I told you, not only me, you probably just some people coming to us to pray. Please just listen. I know that you will do great things in your life. Let's share the grace together. The grace of Jesus Christ, the love of God, and His perfect Holy Spirit. They will trust now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy. All the days of life, when you then ask the Lord forever and ever. Amen. See you by 3 p.m. Eastern Time. God bless you. Bye-bye. I'm five.